Hello students and friends. In this video, let us discuss resonant structures of fused aromatic compounds. Okay. You know that benzene has two resonant structures. In this two resonant structures, there is a delocalization of the pi alkanes, and these two structures are equal in energy. As a result, the benzene has a only one type of carbon-carbon bond length. In benzene, the carbon-carbon bond length is 1.39 angstroms. Okay, all bonds are the equal. And next, how many of you know that the benzene is a liquid? That is a colorless liquid compound. Of course, in some cases that may be yellowish color. So next, uh, coming to the naphthalene. This naphthalene has a three resonant structures. All these three resonant structures are not equal. And one more point. This one has uh, two types of carbon-carbon bonds. Two types of carbon-carbon bonds. Okay. So here, among these three resonant structures, here in this case, Here, this bond that means here uh, this is the X bond. I am saying this one X bond and uh, this one is the X bond and this one is the X bond and this one is the X bond this is X bond and this is X bond this is bond X okay all these bonds are equal and this is why here y and this one is a y and this one is a y okay those are those four bonds are equal now what is the relation between x and y which one is a higher bond so in this case this y bond has single bond character this one has double bond character here in this case double bond here x bond double bond and here single bond here single bond that among the three resonant structures that bond has a two times single bond character so here x is longer than the y okay that's it among three resonant structure which resonant structure is more stable from the fry's rule okay from the fry's rule if any molecule has more number of resonant structures that it has a more stability among the three resonant structures this resonant structure is more stable that's it and next coming to the and the scene four resonant structures we can see here in this case again here carbon carbon bonds are three types okay carbon carbon bonds are the three types here in this case you can see here coming to this structure this bond is x i am saying and uh, this bond is x this bond is x and this bond is x and this bond is the x this bond is the x and this bond is the x all these bonds are equal okay of course this one also and next here i am saying this one this is a bond y and this bond is a y and uh, this bond is a y these four bonds are equal and coming to this one okay here i am saying this is a z bond this is a z and this is a z and this is a z those four bonds are equal so that it has a three types of bonds and then what is the relation among the x y z bonds okay so here in this case here coming to this x this bond has single bond and in this case single bond and in this case single bond here in this case double bond that means only once double bond remaining three times single bond character so here mostly x has a higher bond length next year between y and z so here in this case coming to this y this one is a double bond character this one double bond and this one is double bond and this here in this case a single bond here double bond here double bond here double bond that means y has a four times of a double bond nature one single bond nature so ultimately that y has a uh, that means uh, least bond because that has more times double bond character so remaining one is a jet 
here you, you can check let us check this bond length z so your double bond and your double bond and your single bond so you can see a single bond here you can see single bond among the four resonating structures here two resonating structures has a double bond character two resonating structure has a single bond character so it is a bond length order uh, in anthracene okay three types of bonds and four resonating structure you can see that's it and next coming to the phenanthrene it is one of the different molecule it is a one specific uh, properties so here in this case this one has a five resonating structures you can see here and among the five resonating structures how many types of bonds here four types of carbon carbon bonds four types of carbon carbon bonds now here you can see in this case that uh, a labeled bond has a four times double bond character and here one single bond character so this bond has a ultimately least bond length okay and uh, this one here i am writing like this here so here in this case this bond is this bond is a and this bond is a this bond is a and this bond is a okay next uh, this bond is a this bond is a this bond is a and this bond also a okay so all these bonds have equal bond length okay next uh, coming to uh, coming to this one this one is uh, bond length b here this one b these two are equal and next uh, coming to this here this one b and this one is a b all these four bonds have equal length okay next uh, another one here this bond is c and this bond is c okay these and this one also bond c these three have same bond length and next year finally this one that is a d okay this one is a d so in this case at least bond length d because that has a four times double bond character okay four times double bond character now next year you can see this c bond double bond single bond a single bond single bond single bond that has ultimately higher bond length c okay because more times single bond character and next coming to this one uh, coming to this a bond length first of all here a single bond here double bond here single bond double bond two times double bond and remain three times single bond so after c a has a higher bond length and next year ultimately b okay you can check this one b double bond character here uh, single bond character here in this case single bond character here double bond and double bond that means here just two times single bond character okay and d has a only once double bond character so that has a least bond length there is a bond length order. this one has a four types of carbon carbon bonds and five resonating structures Okay, that is about the phenolphthalein. Coming to the pyrene. Okay, this pyrene has a different properties, of course, and this one is the aromatic in nature. Here, this one has six resonating structures, and uh, how many types of bonds here? Four types of CC bonds. Okay, four types of CC bonds are present in pyrene. So, here in this case, uh, in this pyrene. So actually, here I'm just uh, I'm giving the uh, just uh, I'm giving the bond length of this one. Here uh, we can say this one is a bond length x, and here we can say this one bond length y, and this one bond length z. Uh, this bond length is w. And relation is that it has a four types of bonds. Relation is y greater than and w greater than and x greater than and least z. Okay, that is that is a bond length order. Okay, that it has a four types of bonds. Okay, you can see by, by these resonant structures we can 
identify the which bonds are similar bonds. Okay. So for suppose in this case, in this structure here, uh, these two bonds are equal in nature actually. Okay, those two bonds have equal bond length actually. And next year, uh, this bond, this bond, and this one, this one have equal bond length. And next year, all these four bonds and all these four bonds have equal nature. Okay, that's it. And next year, the one interesting point here, the phenanthrene can decolorize the bromine solution. So actually alkenes are reaction with bromine solution, there is a decolorization. That is test for unsaturation. So generally here benzene does not give the reaction with the bromine solution. Okay, that means here Br2, CCl4, no reaction. In case of the naphthalene also, no reaction, but in case of the anthracene, there is a reaction. There is a decolorization of this bromine solution that is uh, added at the 9 and 10 position. This is the first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, this is the fourth carbon, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Here 9 and 10. Here 9, 10 bromo, 9, 10 dibromo anthracene this compound. And here the phenanthrene also can decolorize the bromine solution. This one has a more double bond character that has a completely Alkene properties, so addition takes place. So here decolorization of bromine solution takes place. Okay, and next, uh, whatever the uh, pyrene, this pyrene also can decolorize the bromine solution because in this case, this one reaction with the bromine and the CCL4 decolorization takes place. Here addition takes place at this uh, middle bond. That means here, here I am writing like this. The middle bond is involved in a resonating uh, addition reaction. That means here bromine and uh, this bromine addition takes place. So, so remaining pi bonds are fixed at their position. That means here in this case, in this structure, actually there is a possibility of the resonance. That means here uh, all these pi bonds are involved in a resonating structure. It's totally seven pi bonds, and that means here. 14 pi electron. So 14 pi electron means here that satisfies the Hockel rule. So here this compound is the aromatic compound. Here in this compound, this double bond is not inverted in the resonance actually. If this double bond is inverted in resonance that has a 16 pi electrons gains anti-aromatic nature. But the anti-aromatic compounds are unstable. That's why here these pi electrons are escaped from the delocalization. So remaining these 14 electrons are inverted in the a resonance so there is a continuous loop of delocalization of electrons okay so this compound is aromatic with 14 pi electrons and n equals to 4 okay but not 16 pi electrons this pi electrons middle pi bonding electrons are not in one resonance that's why here um, addition takes place on this double bond so this compound can decolorize the bromine solution that's it okay and uh, this is the resonance energy of the uh, all these fused aromatic compounds. Benzene has a 36 kilocalorie. Here in this case, naphthalene 61, that means here per benzene being 30.5. And anthracene 83, per benzene 27.7. And phenanthrene 91 kilocalorie and per ring 30.3. And here pyrene 109 kilocalorie per benzene ring 25 kilocalorie per ring. That means here among the all resonatics, uh, all fused uh, aromatic compounds here. Pyrene is an unstable compound because per ring resonance energy is the least. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please share the video and subscribe my channel.